I'm Patty Lee. I'm Lewis Lee. Uh, we've been going to Compass Church now for just almost a year. He's like, hey, we were invited to join this small group for me. I'm like, okay, you know, it, it'll be fun. Right away, I was like, boy, I, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't have enough time. Uh, I barely have enough time just for the, the activities that we do with our kids. And so um, we actually kind of um, stood them up, I think, that first week. And, uh, and then, um, you know, we were able to, to go back in that second week. And, you know, I really just uh, felt the prompting of the Holy Spirit saying, you know, you, you need to give this a try. So uh, we talked it over and, and we went and uh, we were just, it was, it was amazing. Was I excited? Absolutely. But I didn't really foresee the impact that it would have on our lives. I'm Courtney Whitted. I'm Jordan Whitted. So we've been coming to the Compass now for about six years. What prompted the, the discussion really to consider splitting the group was primarily the opening of the new campus, right? We yeah. knew that we would have uh, hundreds of new families coming in the doors and we wanted to make sure that people that wanted to get connected in had a place to be connected. And we wanted to make sure that we were part of that and that we were open and available because um, our group was full. You know, um, so we wanted to make sure that there were more opportunities for these new families to connect and feel welcome and part of our family. At that time, we, we through some uh, prayer um, and, and also discussion with my wife, uh, you know, we were talking with our, our group leader, John, and um, we, we um, decided to, um, the group to split and split in a sense of provide more opportunity uh, for others um, to really, I think, just not only be welcomed into what small groups are all about, but, you know, an opportunity that may not have existed for some of our families um, if this split didn't occur. So I think that with our last group, we were at that point and, and everything was very healthy and, and we enjoyed being around one another and um, just a lot of great times together. Uh, but at the same time, uh, there's this drive to really fulfill the Great Commission where like, we don't want to just keep this to ourselves. We want to share this experience with other people. And um, you know, how do we take this same feeling, the same model, and and push it out to to other people and, and let other people experience it? So. As we split, um, we made some. It was difficult because you're with people who you've been vulnerable with, you shared life with uh, every week, and you shared some. Um, they've been in those encouragers for you. So um, there was some sadness. Uh, but that was quickly uh, followed by just some um, expectance of what's to come. And, uh, you know, boy, what, what was to come was something that we never imagined. And we split um, with a couple group members staying with us and a couple group members going with Patty and Lewis to lead. And, you know, very quickly and easily, both of our, you know, new groups formed and, and filled up and it's been a really great experience since then. You know, being able to experience and, and witness some of the new families coming in and, and seeing kind of where they're coming from, from life, different life stages, um, you know, as you get to know them, as you dive into people's lives, like things have come out that, you know, you can tell that they're thinking about, they're, they're thinking about how to walk in the light, how to, um, you know, what it means to, to follow Christ and um, just coming from different periods of their, of their, their growth and their faith. And so, um, being able to witness that, walk alongside them, encourage them, and even vice versa, having them able to, to be able to encourage us um, has been uh, just a really awesome thing to continue to witness. So. 